Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. And in today's video, I have a different video. I'm going to be showing you guys a very cool survival hack. So basically, I have a survival hack here, which would be great if you were camping, hunting, um, hiking, whatever. All you need is two of the things seen here. So first, if you're out in the outdoors, you should always have a first aid kit. None of this matters, but what does matter is this alcohol. As long as your first aid kit has alcohol, that's 99%. 70% will probably work too. That's one thing you need. And the other thing you'll need is some empty brass cartridges. Obviously, if you're out hunting, and you find yourself stranded, you'll have lots of these. But even if you're camping, some people, definitely not here in Canada, but maybe in the States they carry a gun with them. Or maybe you find a bullet casing on the ground in the woods somewhere. So those are the only two things you'll need. So since I'm not stranded in the woods, I'll be showing you guys this experiment in the safety of my own kitchen. Doing it on top of a steel baking sheet, just in case something bad goes happens, won't catch my counter on fire and the lip will prevent the alcohol from running over my counter and down there. Also doing it beside my sink for an extra safety precaution. So basically, what we're gonna be doing here is I chose a variety of empty shell cartridges. Sorry, I'm not into guns, so I might get this wrong, but I think we have a 22 long rifle. I, I guess I could read the bottom. I think this is 223 Win Meg or something like that. All you gun guys are probably hating on me right now. 270 Winchester, and I believe this is a 338 Magnum. So, lots of variety there. And basically, all we're going to do is take our isopropylic, whatever, alcohol, and pour it straight into the shells until they're all full. To fill the cartridges, I will be using this large syringe which obviously you probably won't have in the wilderness so if you don't have one of these that is okay I'm just doing it so I don't get too much alcohol overspill as you can see I'm still getting a little bit which I will clean up before lighting them on fire so I don't light everything else on fire okay so I've dimmed the lights and we are ready to light our bullet candles on fire now no one in the wild seems to carry around a normal lighter with them. So we're going to go ahead and use some matches, just like you would if you were camping. Don't know why that's the case, but nonetheless, here we go. Light the small one first. Oh, so there you go. They are lit. And we are going to start the stopwatch right there. And I'll try and get this all in the shot. So the winner of the candle contest, we'll call it, is the uh, the biggest one, the 38, 338 Magnum. Now, the 22 did burn for probably, I think it was six minutes, pretty bright. These ones here died the earliest, I think because, as you can see, the neck is very restrictive. If you had a way of cutting off the taper, I think it would last for almost forever, as... This one here died at 10 minutes, but the level was literally right there. And I will show you with this guy. I think this one here, as the neck is not very tapered in, this might very well literally last for hours. It's not very bright, 
but I'll bring it over. You can touch it, they don't get hot at all. And I will go ahead and put it out. As you can see, lasted 12 and a half minutes so far. So I'll put it out just with my finger. And try and get a good angle for you here. Turn the light back on. The fluid, the alcohol left is still probably right about there. So if it, if, it, if it took 12 minutes to burn this, you got another at least like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even seven times 12 left, which is easily another hour and a half from this one thing. As you can see, there's tons left in here. And uh, so yeah, that's a very, very fun little survival hack. So thank you for watching everyone. If you find yourself lost in the woods with only these two things, maybe you can make yourself a little candle too. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. So just a little update, everyone. Um, the video was supposed to be over, but here I am the next morning. Did an experiment. Um, so here we have the big 338, and it's actually making a much nicer flame than yesterday. It's already been well over 10 minutes, actually. But here, remember yesterday I talked about the restrictive neck. Um, here what I did is I took these little pipe cutters, which you obviously wouldn't have in the wilderness, but if you packed for it, you would. And so here we are. It's a smaller cartridge with a smaller opening, but I cut off the top of it, so it's just flat like that, which I guess would probably be like a nine millimeter or something, which I don't have right now. If you want me to do a follow-up video with all types of cartridges, I can. But they are actually burning very nice. If I turn off the lights, they are actually quite bright. And like I said before, they're not hot at all, so you can get up and walk around with them, like the girl from the Christmas movie. But uh, yeah, so now the video is over for real. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. They're a little bit sideways because my, uh, my heat's on right now, so it really messes it up a little bit. But that little one's actually going pretty darn bright. And it's been 10 minutes and you can kind of see the fluid bubbling right there near the top. So I think it'll last quite a while. So thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Help me reach 200,000 hopefully by the end of this year. Thanks for watching.